the BMW International Open and challenges coming from just about everywhere. This is John Bickerton who was joint second in this tournament last year, putting for birdie at the 12th. Only a par, but he's still 14 under. Alex Chaker on the shortish par 4, 15th. Second shot, just one behind Carlson. And a fabulous opportunity for birdie there. Just over that front bunker, but good control from Chaker. Raphael Jacklin never won on tour, but he's hung around very well. This to go 15 under at the 12th. But again, uh, the putter lets him down. And a par. And still 14 under. Led after round one of the Nordic Open, also a 62. Westwood coming from the semi-rough at 13, not ideal with the flag. Only just over the bunker again. The tournament officials have really tucked them away today. And what a fabulous shot from Westwood. He's made two birdies in a row. That's certain to be three. His first top ten in more than two years at the European Open recently. Lee coming back to his best. Well, Brian Davis and the stuffing knocked out of him with that seven at the ninth. Second now to the tenth. He went to a, a tent by the tent tee and just had a quiet moment. Understandably. Playing partner Robert Carson has also found the fairway. 175 yards to go. His clubs are over two inches longer than standard to cope with the six foot five in height. So although this looks like a five iron, it's actually an eight. Oh, and he hates it. His legs have got ahead of him, left the club behind. And that is not the place to miss this green with the flag cut on that side. So the tournament could be on again. And take it. And with a golden opportunity at the 15th to go 16 under, level at the top. Which he takes. Perfect card. And Lee Westwood will make it a three-way tie with that birdie at 13. Three in a row for the charging Westwood. But how long Will it last? Robert Carlson, a real problems at the 10th. Missed the green, and here's his ball. Got to get up and down. Well, pretty well played. Almost too well. Wouldn't have imagined he could leave it short of the flag from there. Wasn't a great lie either. Gary Evans at the 12th. Fighting back. And that's a birdie. And he goes to 14 under. See that ugly 5 7 at 5 and 6. Carlson then to safe part. Camera full shortens this. It's fully 6 feet. Well, how quickly things can change secure holding a one and two shot lead all the way through the front nine others are making birdies now Robert's made a bogey potentially at least still work to do Queens have been running at about 11 on the stint meter but a little slower today after all the rain we had That's a horror for Carlson. After an excellent pitch, three putts from no great distance at all, and a double bogey six. And for the first time in quite a long time, he's out of the lead. 16th, over the water. Tee back today, let's move forward yesterday, and I think that's trouble for Chaker. 
Well, there's the prize money they're playing for, 1.8 million euro, the total fund, a first prize of 300,000 euro. A check that not quite in the water has it. Maybe a lucky break. Still got his problems though, Steve. Well down below the level of the green. He's tried to putt it up the bank and it's not come off. Crucial time of the tournament. Alex does not want to make bogey at a very birdieable hole. Lee Westwood in the joint lead. Hasn't been here for a while. Second to 14. In fact, the only time he's led in the last three years was after round one of last year's Madrid tournament. Taken then to stay in a tie with Westwood. Wonderful from Tita Green. Reuters stat backing that up for us there. 14 out of 16. Always his strength. The short stick. Always his Achilles heel. And a bogey five. Daunting par three, 17th to come. And then a really good birdie or eagle chance at 18. So Alex's challenge definitely not over. It means Lee Westwood leads on his own. But here come the in-laws. Andrew Coltart, whose sister Laurie is married to Lee, has a putt for 15 under. And his putting has significantly improved this year. 15 under it is. Lee Westwood in an awkward spot here. Seems to have drawn a good light. You wonder just what emotions are going through Lee. Loves competing, loves to win. Oh, and a wonderful shot there. And having not been there in such a long time, I wonder just how nervous he's feeling. Got a good man on the back though, hasn't he? Peter Coleman, long time Langer caddy. Seen it all before. Carlson once again, out of coordination. Second shot to 11, the par five. At least he's missed it on the right side. Similar to Westwood, he's got lots of green to work with, so a four still very much on the cards. It doesn't look to be timing the swing very well. Marcel Seam, 13 under. Second shot, 2.13. Just a short par four. And I think fair enough to say he will be shortly 14 under. and then chipping at 11 made that fantastic eagle here from the back bunker can he come up with another piece of magic oh, pretty good see Robert back on the birdie train Lee Westwood at the 15th Going over to the right-hand side of the tee, just fading this one up. Perfect. Ryan Davis had to lay up here and hit it in the left-hand rough off the tee. That's a birdie chance. Just nothing going Brian's way today. Hasn't putted particularly well over the last couple of months. The tee to green game in terrific shape. Works with Peter Mitchell, former player on the European Tour. Robert Carlson then to repair half the damage inflicted at 10. This for birdie at 11. Fifteen under. So Lee Westwood leads on his own from Jacob, Coulthard and Carlson. And it's been almost three years since Westwood won. Is today the day?